Run up, run upstairs. A tip-off to the police and officers raid a house this week where it suspected foreign women had been trafficked and used as sex slaves. A disturbing development on an average British street, but becoming even more disturbingly familiar. Sky News was invited to meet some of those who've escaped their traffickers. We can't reveal the location of the safe house where they're now living or their identities. Such are the fears for the safety of young women like Rita. How are you? Duped by a family friend into leaving her home in Nigeria for good prospects abroad, she was forced into prostitution in Britain. When it happened, it's like a dream to me. But I was waiting for somebody to wake me up with this dream. It was um, difficult for me to understand what has really happened. Everything he told me, like, if I escape, I'm going to be killed and my own entire family is going to be killed as well. I, I was very scared. But she did escape and is one of those brave enough to share her story with the first man ever to enter the safe house in its six-year history. Victims Minister Damien Green is here as the government prepares to crack down on the international trade in people. He plans to get the traffickers any way he can. And quite often, if, if people are in a criminal gang that are involved in trafficking people, they may well be trafficking drugs and possibly guns as well. They're very unlikely to be paying taxes. There are a number of, of ways that the, the police can uh, attack them and, and, and bring them down, and bring their criminal gangs down. The National Crime Agency, with its domestic and international reach, will be at the heart of that battle. And the government's new anti-slavery bill will usher in tougher penalties for trafficking and forced labour. But ministers know the key is to stop the illegal trade in people at source and plan to invest in raising awareness abroad. Rita says that would have helped her family. We're thinking like it's a good opportunity, but when we took the opportunity, it was the bad thing that happened. And her hope is new powers will stop others being tricked like she was. Michelle Clifford, Sky News.